Hello everyone. Welcome to Kevation Engineering uh, YouTube channel. All right. Uh, so today also I took uh, a new lesson regarding AT Chapter 27, Flight Control, uh, System Controls and Indicating. All right. So uh, this is the third lesson under AT Chapter uh, 27. All right, so if you still not watch uh, my previous videos, uh, please go to the playlist and you can watch these videos. It is very valuable for you. And uh, if you still not subscribe uh, Kvision Engineering YouTube channel, please subscribe and please share these videos with your friends, relatives, and anyone who would like to learn about aircraft maintenance engineering. Uh, all right, so uh, now we will go to the lesson. Right, so uh, AT Chapter 27, Flight Controls, General Lesson Number Three, System Control and Indicating. Right, okay. Uh, so now let's go to the uh, objective. So the objective of this lesson is to identify and locate the controls and indications of the flight control system. All right. So now the lesson content. Let's see. The first one is I stay, and second one teaches uh, mechanical control. And next one is speed brake lever and uh, rudder pedals. And next one is slat flap uh, control lever, right? Slat flap control lever. And then the rudder trim and uh, flight control panels, right? Flight control panels. And then the ECAM pages, flight control panels and ECAM pages. Okay, let's go to the first one. First one is size states. Okay, you can see this is the cockpit. Uh, you can see this this red button, the take off push button, autopilot disconnections or uh, take off from the opposite side stick. And here is the left side stick. Right is symmetrical, same like this. And here the push to talk push button. Here is the locking pin. Okay, you can see the uh, real picture. All right, the side sticks one on each lateral consoles are used for manual pitch and roll control. So they control the surfaces through the flight control computers, right? They are controlling the, these. Uh, they control the surface through the flight control computers, okay? And the hand grip include two push buttons, okay? You can see the two push buttons. One used for autopilot disconnection or side stick priority, and the other one for the radio, right? So for some maintenance procedures, for some maintenance procedures, it is necessary to look. The side sticks with a pin in pitch and roll neutral position, right? Okay, now let's go to the next one. THS mechanical control. Okay, you can see this is the uh, THS mechanical control uh, here, right? This is the real picture. So uh, those pitch trim wheels. This is the pitch trim wheels, right? Those pitch trim wheels provide mechanical controls of the THS and have priority over electrical control. Right, so the THS mechanical control must be used when the automatic pitch trim is not available. Remember, the THS mechanical control must be used when the automatic pitch trim is not available. So the trim position is indicated in degrees on the scale adjacent to each trim wheel. Okay, here you can see the scales in degrees, right? Okay, right. Um, Now the following nose wheel touch down, right? Uh, pitch trim wheels return automatically to zero degrees as the pitch altitude become less than 2.5 degree, right? Okay, now let's go to the speed brakes, right? Speed brakes over there, right? Here are the speed brakes. This is the speed brake lever. This is the actual picture, real picture, right? So the speed brake lever control the position, right? The speed brake lever control the position of the speed brake surfaces. And the manual pre-selection of the ground spoilers, right? To select a required position, right? To select a required position of the speed brake surfaces, uh, the lever has to be pushed down and placed in the required position. A hard point is provided at half speed brake position. All right. So to arm the ground spoilers, to arm the ground spoilers, the lever must be pulled up when in refracted. Position. Remember it. Okay. All right. Next one is rudder pedals. Okay. You can see the uh, the actual picture here. The rudder pedals, and here is the pedal mount. Okay. This is the diagram. Okay. 
All right, the two sets of pedals enable the rudder mechanical control. There are two sets of pedals enable the rudder mechanical control. These pedals have individual adjustment devices so that the pilots can set them to their personal setting. Right? Okay, now uh, slat flap control lever. Here is the slat flap control lever, right? Here's the actual picture over there, right? All right, so the lever is connected to the command sensor. Remember, the lever is connected to the command sensor unit, which translates the mechanical demand into electrical signal for the slat flap control computers. So the flap lever selects simultaneous operations of the slat and flap, and the collar must be lift before selection of any position. Remember, the collar must be lift before selection of any position. All right. So now uh, the five lever positions corresponding to the following service positions as shown on the table. Okay, you can see these are the five levers of position 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, and 4. The configurations also 1, 0, 1, 1 plus F, 2, 3, and uh, 4. Right? And here the 21, here the 320, and 319. So uh, in here you can see the graph, right? So the position in lever position 0. The slat angles in 321, slat angle also 0, flap angle also 0, and the 320 and 319, 0, 0. And the lever positions 1 uh, in 321, slat angle 18, flap angle 0, and 320, 319, 319, 18, and 0. Same. And the lever positions 1, uh, the configuration is 1 plus half, slat angle is 18, uh, flap angle is 10, and 320 and 319 also same. And lever position is 2, and uh, configuration also is 2, and slat angle 22, flap angle 14, slat angle uh, for 320 and 319, 22, and uh, flap angle is 15, right? They have some difference. And the lever position is 3, configuration is 3, slat angle 22, flap angle 21 for 21, 320, 319, 22, and here is 20, right? Have difference. And then full position. Configuration 4, the slat angle 27, flap angle 25 for 321, and 320 and 319, slat angle 27, and flap angle 40. Right, so it's different uh, for 40 with the V2500 NG and 35 with the CFM56 NG. Alright, okay, now let's go to the rudder trim. You can see the rudder trim console over there. Right, okay, so the rudder trim order is transmitted. Right, rudder trim order is transmitted to the trim actuator through the flight augmentation computers. Remember, rudder trim order is transmitted to the trim actuator through the flight augmentation computers. So you can see the first one here the rudder trim reset push button switch. Right, rudder trim reset push button switch is used to reset the trim positions to zero. And next one, number two here. The rudder trim control switch. This is the rudder trim control switch. Control the rudder trim actuator which moves the neutral point of the artificial field. Next one, rudder trim indicator. Here is the rudder trim indicator. Display rudder trim directions, left or right, and value 0 to 20 degrees. Alright. Okay, uh, here are the flight control panels. Okay, flight control panels. You can see situated in the overhead. Uh, overhead. Right. See uh, flight control, flight control, so elect 2, sec 2, sec 3, fac 2, and here elect 1, sec 1, fac 1. Here's the actual picture. So the computer's push button set to energize or de energize and reset the elevator and ailerons computers, the spoiler and elevator computers, and the flight augmentation computers. Right? You can see the off in white color. In white, when the corresponding computer is switched off, and fold in amber color comes on amber. Accompanied by the camp cautions activation, when a failure is detected, the four lights go off when off is selected. Okay, you can see elect means elevator and elevator computer, and set means spoiler and elevator computer, and fact means flight augmentation computer. Right? Okay, uh, here the size stick priority light indicates, right? Here the size stick priority light indicates the loss of priority and taking a priority in front of the pilots, right? So when both side sticks are activated, right? When both side sticks are activated without any actions on the priority switch, both the captain and first officer green lights comes on. Okay, captain and first officer green lights comes on, and the red arrow lights here. The red arrow light comes on in front of the pilot losing priority. 
and here the captain and first officer green lights comes on captain and first officer green lights comes on in front of the pilot taking priority of if the deactivated side stick is not at neutral all right okay now let's go to the cam pages okay you can see the cam pages over there so the flight control systems is just three cam pages the first one is flight uh, the flight control cam page and next one wheel cam page for the primary surface indications and third one engine warning display wd for the slat and flap indication here the upper cam okay you can see slat and flap indications over there and here the lower cam wheel page right and here the flight controls here the speed brakes over there right here the rudder trim you can see right uh, here the elevator portions right right uh, here the earlier and portions left hand right all right yeah uh, that is the end of this lesson right uh, yeah uh, i think uh, you got a good knowledge about it chapter 27 uh, the system indicating uh, system controls and indication indicating uh, lesson so i think uh, until if you if you watch this video in the first time please watch the previous videos i mean the lesson one and lesson two then you will have a good knowledge about it chapter 27 and ha we have so much lessons for uh, regarding it chapter 27 so i will upload uh, uh, as soon as possible all right so um, thank you for participating in this lesson so if you still not subscribe to uh, KVision Engineering YouTube channel, please subscribe and share these videos with your friends and relatives uh, and anyone who like to learn about aircraft maintenance. And please share this in the Facebook, especially the social media like Facebook, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, anywhere. Right. Uh, all right. So uh, we will meet on next lesson. Have a good day for all of you.